By the end of this video, you should have a basic understanding of why gut health is so important when it comes to inflammatory skin conditions. All right, let's get into the video. Hi everyone, my name is Larry. Welcome to Fighting Eczema. Poor gut health is a common root cause of inflammatory skin conditions such as eczema and topical steroid withdrawal. Why is this the case? A lot of people don't realize that a big part of our immune systems are controlled by our guts. This makes sense, right? Because every time you're ingesting food, believe it or not, you're ingesting things like bacteria and bugs. Have you ever picked a berry from a bush and just ate it without washing it? You're eating bugs. The immune system in our gut has to be doing its job properly to destroy these bad things that we're ingesting because we don't wanna be getting sick every time we're eating food, right? Now, you might be wondering, why am I talking about the immune system? I thought we were talking about the skin. Well, another thing that a lot of people don't realize is that inflammatory skin conditions such as eczema and topical steroid withdrawal are often described as immune system conditions because immune system dysregulation is what often leads to these skin issues. So the idea here is that poor gut health equals poor immune system health equals poor skin. So if we fix your gut health, that will fix your immune system, which will then fix your skin. All right, now let's talk about some gut-related conditions that you might have that might be contributing to your skin issues. The first condition I wanna talk about is leaky gut syndrome. The idea behind leaky gut syndrome is that the junction between the cells lining your digestive tract is not tight. Instead, there's some sort of gap. When this occurs, your digestive system is not properly digesting the foods that you're eating. And so those undigested food particles are kind of getting through those gaps. This leads to your immune system seeing those undigested food particles as foreign material, leading to an immune system reaction. Remember what we talked about earlier, immune system reactions or dysregulation can lead to skin issues. One thing you'll want to know is that there's not a lot of research right now on leaky gut syndrome, so a lot of what we're talking about is theory. However, what we're seeing is that a lot of people who have skin conditions, they'll treat for leaky gut and their skin will improve. So there's some sort of connection there. If you're someone who notices that you seem to have a lot of food sensitivities, leaky gut syndrome is definitely something you wanna look into. Maybe you don't actually have food sensitivities, but instead you have a leaky gut making it seem like you have food sensitivities. Next, let's talk about your gut microbiome. Believe it or not, you have trillions of bacteria living in your gut. With housing prices being so high nowadays, you should be charging rent from the bacteria living inside of you. Wait, what? Now, here's the thing. There's good bacteria, then there's bad bacteria. Good bacteria is beneficial. They do things like help you digest fiber, and they can also produce vitamins that your body can use. On the other hand, Bad bacteria might be producing inflammatory compounds that will negatively affect your immune system or cause some sort of immune system reaction. You're probably getting the idea here now, right? This immune system reaction is going to manifest in your skin. My question for you is, have you ever taken antibiotics? If your answer is yes, there's a good chance that your microbiome is imbalanced. When you took the antibiotic, you might have gotten rid of any infection that you had. However, you probably also killed off all of the good bacteria in your gut. If after taking antibiotics, you did not replenish your gut with good bacteria through a probiotic supplement or probiotic foods, there's a chance that bad bacteria has now overtaken your gut, leading to immune system issues, leading to skin issues. I really recommend that you work with a healthcare professional to rebalance your gut microbiome. Treatment is going to be different for everybody, so there's no way I can just recommend a general protocol. If you want to work with me personally to heal your gut, check out our programs at fightingeczema.com. I'd be happy to help you not only heal your gut, but also work on your entire lifestyle. All right, next I want to briefly mention candida. Candida is a yeast, and there seems to be an association between candida in the gut and skin conditions. The idea behind why candida leads to skin issues is basically the same as bacteria, like we just talked about. The candida is likely producing inflammatory compounds that are leading to an immune system reaction, which again, leads to skin issues. One simple way to determine if you are suffering from candida is to ask yourself, do you have sugar cravings? 
Candida feeds off of sugar. So it's basically stealing the sugar that's meant for your body. And so your body craves more sugar. So again, if you think Candida might be contributing to your skin issues, find a healthcare professional who will be able to confirm this and then provide proper individualized treatment. The next gut related condition that might be contributing to your skin issues is something called small intestinal bacterial overgrowth or SIBO for short. SIBO occurs when too much bad bacteria develops in your small intestine. Most of the bacteria in your gut is located in the large intestine. Too much bacteria in the small intestine is not normal. Again, this bad bacteria in your small intestine will be producing inflammatory compounds leading to an immune system reaction or dysregulation leading to skin issues. As you can see, it's really the same pattern with all of these gut related issues. Now, if you have SIBO, you may notice symptoms such as gas, bloating, diarrhea, and constipation. For my eczema and TSW patients who show these signs and symptoms, I will often recommend what's called a SIBO breath test as this will allow us to determine if we need to treat for SIBO. Before we get into the last condition, I'm gonna ask you to hit the like button on this video if you're finding it helpful, just so we can spread this information more to people and get people to realize the importance of gut health when it comes to the skin. Thank you very much. The last condition I wanna mention is irritable bowel syndrome or IBS for short. Studies seem to show that people who have IBS are more likely to develop eczema and people who have eczema are also more likely to develop IBS. So there's some sort of connection going on here. IBS is a chronic condition where you have symptoms like abdominal pain, cramping, constipation, and diarrhea. Oftentimes you'll have this for no reason and the cause is completely unknown. So if you notice that you have any sort of digestive system symptoms, that might be a sign that you really need to work on your gut health if you're truly serious about healing your skin. If you wanna continue learning about how to heal your skin, check out one of the videos that has just popped up on your screen. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.